wouldn't it be nice, mm. Kelly Sutton from Gusto, if we could take some changes that we yeah. have uh-huh. and know whether we were breaking something in production? That sounds almost too good to be true, Kent Beck from Gusto. Well, and and it is too good to be true, but it's only almost too good to be true. We can try. We, what we'd like is for our tests to be an oracle. Yeah. We uh, sacrifice a rabbit. Mm-hmm. We present the changes, mm-hmm. and the oracle tells us yes, everything is going to be okay. Yep. Or oh, be careful, things mm-hmm. uh, you're going to have trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So here in episode eleven, we're going to be diving into. What does it mean for our test to be predictive? Correct. To predict the future. And in this ideal world, we're, the oracle will always tell us the truth. Yeah. We're all, if, if the oracle says it's okay, it's okay. Mm-hmm. And we can only approach that. Yeah. So you were telling me a story about uh, a, a younger... Uh, a younger me. A younger you. Yeah. So I, had, uh, I was earlier in my career picked up a copy of uh, TDD by example, I think, right? Classic. Classic book. book. Buy it for your friends. On Um, (laughs) Amazon.com. I was going through it, and I was, you know, writing writing my tests and then writing my code. Uh, I had, uh, you know, developed, let's say, 100 tests. Oh. It's feeling really good. Who needs any more? Yeah. And I shipped it to production. My tests were green, uh, but production broke. How can that be? What happened? Uh, what I realized is that there's a lot of things outside of my control uh, when it comes to a production application. Yeah. Right? Uh, for web apps, you know, browsers are changing all the time. Google's releasing new versions of Chrome, Mozilla new versions of Firefox. Uh, there might be an issue connecting to the database, right? Mm-hmm. There are just things that are outside of my control. Yep. Uh, and then I realized that, okay, my test can only be predictive to a point. Yes. But they can't be 100% predictable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the same kind of thing, uh, I arrived at Facebook. Yeah. There were very few tests by my standards, and yet the code was staying up. And uh, what I realized was many of the error conditions were simply not repeatable outside of the production environment. Ah, Only when you were actually fetching from memcache and you got these strange traffic patterns. That was the only time some condition was created and you couldn't create it inside of a testing environment. So trying to write an automated test for it made no sense. First, you didn't even know these conditions existed. Yeah. Million memcache hits per second or whatever. Who yeah. does yeah. that? Yeah. And then <laughs> trying to replicate it, it was a rare event. There wasn't a lot you could do. Yeah. So. It, it wasn't worth it, yeah. and so there was code that didn't have automated tests, mm-hmm. and yet the system was stable. Mm-hmm. So what we're talking about, though, is there's oftentimes this trade-off. Yep. The last uh, property we talked about was uh, was specificity, yeah. and people specific. yeah. people feel like, well, if I make my tests very specific, yeah. then they're going to be less predictive. I want to exercise the whole system. Yep. And yet, if you do that, then we fail at other properties, and mm-hmm. we'll, in our special bonus episode, oh, we weren't going to talk about the bonus episode. Out of the bag. Anyway, when we get there, we will talk about these kinds of conflicts yeah. between the properties that we've been talking about. Yeah. But for now, mm-hmm. your tests should be an oracle mm-hmm. that predicts the production behavior of your code. Yeah. It'll never be perfect, yep. but oftentimes when you find a gap yep. between test results and production behavior, mm. you can move that a little bit closer. Yeah, and so that's why I like predictive or like the property of predictive because if I see a problem and it is within my control, it is within my application code space, right? Yeah. Uh, I can write a new test to fill that gap. Right. Right. But I need to keep in mind that I will never hit 100% predictability. Right. Yeah. Cool. And uh, in the next episode, we'll talk about the last property, which is inspiration. 